Baybayan Tagalog pronunciation, ba bon, pre-cudlet, post-cudlet, cudlet plus pamudpod, also known as badlet, refers to the various different styles of indigenous writing in the Philippines that are collectively called suyat, including buid, heinanoo, Tagalog, tagbanwa, apurawano, kulatan, and others. Although they can all technically considered Baybayan, this article will primarily be discussing the Tagalog variety. Baybayan is an ancient script used primarily by the Tagalog people. Baybayan is an indigenous Indic script that has been widely used in traditional Tagalog domains. It is one of the many Suyat scripts in the Philippines. It continued to be used during the early part of the Spanish colonization of the Philippines until largely being supplanted by usage of the Latin alphabet. Baybayan is well known because it was carefully documented by scribes during the colonial era. The term Baybayan literally means, to spell, write, and syllabize. In Tagalog, Baybayan was extensively documented by the Spanish. Some have incorrectly attributed the name Alabada to it, but that term was coined by Paul Rodriguez Verzosa after the arrangement of letters of the Arabic alphabet Aleph, Ba, Ta, Alabada, F. Having been eliminated for euphony's sake, it is one of a number of individual writing systems used in Southeast Asia, nearly all of which are abugidas where any consonant is pronounced with the inherent vowel of following it, diacritics being used to express other vowels. Many of these writing systems descended from ancient alphabets used in India over 2,000 years ago. The archives of the University of Santo Tomas in Manila, one of the largest archives in the Philippines, currently possesses the world's biggest collection of ancient writings in Baybayan script. The chambers which house the scripts are part of a tentative nomination to UNESCO World Heritage List that is still being deliberated on, along with the entire campus of the University of Santo Tomas. Overview Topic. Topic. Origins Topic. Baybayan was noted by the Spanish priest Pedro Chirino in 1604 and Antonio de Morga in 1609 to be known by most Filipinos, and was generally used for personal writings, poetry, etc. However, according to William Henry Scott, there were some datus from the 1590s who could not sign affidavits or oaths, and witnesses who could not sign land deeds in the 1620s. Abecedaries The best known evidence of where this Indic script we call today as Baybayan came about is from the Abecedaries evidence. It is an example of letters of the script arranged more or less in the order the Spaniards knew, reproduced by the Spanish and other observers in the different regions of Luzon and Visayas. Another source of evidence are the archival documents preserved and recovered. From these two sources, it is clear that the Baybayan script was used in Luzon, Palawan, Mindoro, as far as Pangasinan in the north, and in Ilocos, Panay, Leyte, and Iloilo, but there are no proof supporting that Baybayan reached Mindanao. From what is available, it seems clear that the Luzon and Palawan varieties have started to develop in different ways in the 1500s, way before the Spaniards conquered what we know today as the Philippines. This puts Luzon and Palawan as the oldest regions where Baybayan was and is used. It is also notable that the variety used in Pampanga had already developed special shapes for four letters by the early 1600s, different from the ones used elsewhere. It is equally important to note that this ancient Baybayan Kapampangan variety is very different from the experiment called Modern Kulatan, which was taught in the late 1990s. So we can say that there were three somewhat distinct varieties of a single script in the late 1500s and 1600s, though they could not be described as three different scripts any more than the different styles of Latin script across medieval or modern Europe with their slightly different sets of letters and spelling systems. The only modern scripts that descended directly from the original Baybayan script through natural development are the Palawan script inherited from the Tagbanwa in Palawan, the Buid and Hananu scripts in Mindoro, the ancient Kapampangan script used in the 1600s but has been supplanted by a constructed script called Modern Kulatan, and of course the Tagalog script. There is no evidence for any other regional scripts, like the modern Kulatan experiment in Pampanga. Any other scripts are recent inventions based on one or another of the abecedaries from Old Spanish descriptions. Bawa's sign 
The confusion over the use of Marx may have contributed to the demise of Bebeyan over time. The desire of Francisco López for Bebeyan to conform to the Spanish alphabetos paved the way for the invention of a cross sign. Such introduction was uniquely a standalone event that was blindly copied by succeeding writers up to the present. Sevilla and Alvaro 1939 said, the marks required in the formation of syllables are, the tuldic or point, and the bawas or minus sign. The bawas or minus sign that is placed before the script to remove the paired vowel appears more logical than the cross or plus sign plus of López. <laughs> New origin giant clam theory Guillermo Tolentino was one of the very few individuals who tried to put forward the possible Filipino origins of Bebeyan and numerals in his book, Ang Wicca at Bebeyang Tagalog 1937. But in 2009, Comandante presented a PhD dissertation entitled, The Role of Giant Clams in the Development of the Ancient Bebeyan Script. Quote, the dissertation also included a theory of the origins of Bebeyan numerals, a summary of the Bebeyan word meanings from San Buenaventura 1613 is as follow, a, e, and uu refer to chanting, baba means inside, kaka means biggest in a group, dada, dara means bloodletting, gaga means to show, haha means to break, lala means to scrape, mama means to eat, nana means blood, naganga means open wide, papa means partake, sasa means to break, tata Ta means split, wawa means opening, yaya means together. The meanings altogether point to an activity using giant clams as part of a ritual offering and partaking thereafter. The most significant evidence of the relation of giant clams to Bebeyan is found in the book, A Lexicographic Study of Tayabas Tagalog of Quezon Province, done by Arsenio Manuel. Up faculty, 1971. The word haha is listed to mean. Hiwing Malaki, cut wide, and Hahine means Bukahan Ang Manglet, open the manglet, while manglet means Higanting Kabib, giant clam. Topic: <laughs> Influence of Greater India. Topic. Historically Southeast Asia was under the influence of ancient India, where numerous Indianized principalities and empires flourished for several centuries in Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, Cambodia and Vietnam. The influence of Indian culture into these areas was given the term Indianization. French archaeologist, Georges Coedes, defined it as the expansion of an organized culture that was framed upon Indian originations of royalty, Hinduism and Buddhism and the Sanskrit dialect. This can be seen in the Indianization of Southeast Asia, spread of Hinduism and Buddhism. Indian diaspora, both ancient and current NRI, played an ongoing key role as professionals, traders, priests and warriors. Indian honorifics also influenced the Malay, Thai, Filipino and Indonesian honorifics. Examples of these include Raja, Rani, Maharlika, Datu, etc. which were transmitted from Indian culture to Philippines via Malays and Srivijaya Empire. Laguna Copperplate Inscription, a legal document inscribed on a copper plate in 900 AD, is the earliest known written document found in the Philippines, is written in Indian Sanskrit and Brahmi script based Indonesian Kawi script. Kawi The Kawi script originated in Java, and was used across much of maritime Southeast Asia. It is a legal document with the inscribed date of Sokka era 822, corresponding to April 21, 900 AD Laguna Copperplate inscription. It was written in the Kawi script in a variety of Old Malay containing numerous loanwords from Sanskrit and a few non Malay vocabulary elements whose origin is ambiguous between Old Javanese and Old Tagalog. One hypothesis therefore reasons that, since Kawi is the earliest attestation of writing on the Philippines, then Bebeyan may be descended from Kawi. It is the Kawi inspired ancient alphabet of the people of Bebe in the Lacanate of Lawan used to write letters to relatives in far places where they migrate. Scott mentioned the Bingi of Lawan Side, local epic, originally written in Bebe, a place in ancient Lawan. A second example of Kawi script can be seen on the Butuan ivory seal, though it has not been dated. An earthenware burial jar, called the Kaladagan pot. Found in Batangas is inscribed with characters strikingly similar to Bebeyan, and is claimed to have been inscribed ca. 
1300 AD. However, its authenticity has not yet been proven. Many of the writing systems of Southeast Asia descended from ancient scripts used in India over 2000 years ago. Although Bebeyan shares some important features with these scripts, such as all the consonants being pronounced with the vowel a and the use of special marks to change this sound, there is no evidence that it is so old. The shapes of the Bebeyan characters bear a slight resemblance to the ancient Kavi script of Java, Indonesia, which fell into disuse in the 15th century. However, as mentioned earlier in the Spanish accounts, the advent of the Bebeyan in the Philippines was considered a fairly recent event in the 16th century and the Filipinos at that time believed that their Bebeyan came from Borneo. This theory is supported by the fact that the Bebeyan script could not show syllable final consonants, which are very common in most Philippine languages. See final consonants. This indicates that the script was recently acquired and had not yet been modified to suit the needs of its new users. Also, this same shortcoming in the Bebeyan was a normal trait of the script and language of the Bugis people of Sulawesi, which is directly south of the Philippines and directly east of Borneo. Thus most scholars believe that the Bebeyan may have descended from the Biganese script or, more likely, a related lost script from the island of Sulawesi. Although one of Ferdinand Magellan's shipmates, Antonio Pigafetta, wrote that the people of the Visayas were not literate in 1521, the Bebeyan had already arrived there by 1567 when Miguel López de Legazpi reported that they the Visayans have their letters and characters like those of the Malays, from whom they learned them. B1 then, a century later Francisco Alcina wrote about the characters of these natives, or, better said, those that have been in use for a few years in these parts, an art which was communicated to them from the Tagalogs, and the latter learned it from the Borneans who came from the great island of Borneo to Manila, with whom they have considerable traffic. From these Borneans the Tagalogs learned their characters, and from them the Visayans, so they call them Moro characters or letters because the Moros taught them the Visayans learned the Moros letters, which many use today, and the women much more than the men, which they write and read more readily than the latter, but other sources say that the Visayans derived their writing system from those of Toba, Borneo, Celebes, ancient Java, and from the edicts of the ancient Indian emperor Ashoka. Topic. Old Sumatran Malay scripts Topic. Another hypothesis states that a script or script used to write one of the Malay languages was adopted and became Bebeyan, in particular, the Pallava script from Sumatra is attested to the 7th century. <laughs> Old Assamese The Eastern Nagari script was a precursor to Devanagari. This hypothesis states that a version of this script was introduced to the Philippines via Bengal, before ultimately evolving into Bebeyan. Cham Finally, an early Cham script from Champa, in what is now southern Vietnam and southeastern Cambodia, could have been introduced or borrowed and adapted into Bebeyan. Usage in traditional seals Topic. Like Japan and Korea, the Philippines also had a sealing culture prior to Spanish colonization. However, when the Spaniards succeeded in colonizing the islands, they abolished the practice and burned all documents they captured from the natives while forcefully establishing a Roman Catholic-based rule. Records on Philippine seals were forgotten until in the 1970s when actual ancient seals made of ivory were found in an archaeological site in Butuan. The seal, now known as the Butuan Ivory Seal, has been declared as a national cultural treasure. The seal is inscribed with the word, Butuan, through a native Suyat script. The discovery of the seal proved the theory that pre-colonial Filipinos, or at least in coastal areas, used seals on paper. Before the discovery of the seal, it was only thought that ancient Filipinos used bamboo, metal, bark, and leaves for writing. The presence of paper documents in the classical era of the Philippines is also backed by a research of Otley Bayer stating that Spanish friars boasted about burning ancient Philippine documents with Suyat inscriptions, one of the reasons why ancient documents from the Philippines are almost non-existent in present time. The ivory seal is now housed at the National Museum of the Philippines. Nowadays, younger generations are trying to revive the usage of seals, notably in signing pieces of art such as drawings, paintings, and literary works. 
Topic Suyat. Topic. The collection of distinct scripts used by various indigenous groups in the Philippines, including Baybayan, are recently called as Suyat, which a neutral term of script, by cultural organizations such as Sangabi and the Heritage Conservation Society. Characteristics <laughs> 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 The writing system is an abugida system using consonant-vowel combinations. Each character, written in its basic form, is a consonant ending with the vowel a. To produce consonants ending with the other vowel sounds, a mark is placed either above the consonant to produce an e or i sound or below the consonant to produce an o or u sound. The mark is called a cudlet. The cudlet does not apply to standalone vowels. Vowels themselves have their own glyphs. There is only one symbol for D or R as they were allophones in most languages of the Philippines, where R occurred in intervocalic positions and D occurred elsewhere. The grammatical rule has survived in modern Filipino, so that when a D is between two vowels, it becomes an R, as in the words dangle honor and merangle honorable, or dunong knowledge and marunong knowledgeable, and even ra for da he said, she said, they said, it was said, allegedly, reportedly, supposedly and rin for din also, too, after vowels. This variant of the script is not used for Ilocano, Pangasinan, Bicolano, and other Philippine languages to name a few, as these languages have separate symbols for D and R. Topic. Writing materials Topic. Traditionally, Baybayan was written upon palm leaves with styli or upon bamboo with knives. The curved shape of the letter forms of Baybayan is a direct result of this heritage. Straight lines would have torn the leaves. During the era of Spanish colonization, most Baybayan began being written with ink on paper, but in some parts of the country the traditional art form has been retained. Many of the Baybayan writings in scrolls of paper were afterwards destroyed by Spanish priests as a form of fun. Otley Bayer wrote in 1921, It cannot be said that such writings did not exist, since the early Filipinos were even more literate than the Mexicans. One Spanish priest in southern Luzon boasted of having destroyed more than 300 scrolls written in native characters. Topic. Significant examples Topic. The Tikau stone inscription, also known as the Monreal stone or Rizal stone, is a limestone tablet that contains Baybayan characters. Found by pupils of Rizal Elementary School on Tikau Island in Monreal town, Masbate, which had scraped the mud off their shoes and slippers on two irregular shaped limestone tablets before entering their classroom, they are now housed at a section of the National Museum, which weighs 30 kilos, is 11 cm thick, 54 cm long and 44 cm wide while the other is 6 cm thick, 20 cm long and 18 cm wide. Two styles of writing. Topic. Topic. Varama Cudlet style. Topic. The original writing method was particularly difficult for the Spanish priests who were translating books into the vernaculars. Because of this, Francisco López introduced his own cudlet in 1620, called a sabot, that cancelled the implicit of vowel sound. The cudlet was in the form of a plus sign, in reference to Christianity. This cross-shaped cudlet functions exactly the same as the Varama in the Devanagari script of India. In fact, Unicode calls this cudlet the Tagalog sign Varama. See sample above in characteristic section. Topic. Na character. Topic. A single character represented na. The current version of the Filipino alphabet still retains ing as a digraph. Topic. Punctuation. Topic. Words written in Baybayan were written in a continuous flow, and the only form of punctuation was a single vertical line, or more often, a pair of vertical lines. These vertical lines fulfill the function of a comma, period, or unpredictably separate sets of words. 
Pre-colonial and colonial usage Bebeyan historically was used in Tagalog and to a lesser extent Kapampangan speaking areas. Its use spread to Ilocanos when the Spanish promoted its use with the printing of Bibles. Related scripts, such as Hananu, Buid, and Tagbanwa are still used today, along with Kapampangan script. Among the earliest literature on the orthography of Visayan languages were those of Jesuit priest Esguera with his Arte de la Lengua Visaya in 1747 and of Mentrida with his Arte de la Lengua Visaya, Iliguina de la Isla de Panay in 1818 which primarily discussed grammatical structure. Based on the differing sources spanning centuries, the documented syllabaries also differed in form. <laughs> Modern usage. Topic. Baybayan script, while recognizable, is generally not understood in the Philippines. Though there has been a resurgence in interest in Baybayan, the characters are still used artistically and as a symbol of Filipino heritage. Some cultural and activist groups use Baybayan versions of their acronyms alongside the use of Latin script, which is also sometimes given a Baybayan-esque style. Baybayan tattoos and brush calligraphy are also popular. It is used in the most current new generation currency series of the Philippine peso issued in the last quarter of 2010. The word used in the bills was, Pilipino. It is also used in Philippine passports, specifically the latest e-passport edition issued of August 2009 onwards. The odd pages of pages 3 to 43 have Ang katawaran i nagpapatakila sa ising bayan Righteousness exalts a nation, in reference to Proverbs chapter 14 verse 34. Bebeyan influence may also explain the preference for making acronyms from initial consonant vowel pairs of the component words, rather than the more common use of just the first letter. A number of legislative bills have been proposed periodically aiming to promote the writing system, none of which have yet been passed into law. The latest so far is the National Writing System Act. House Bill 1022, Senate Bill 433, which seems supported by Rappler with its articles on the matter, one of which suggesting a learning period before enforcement. Characters Punctuation and spelling the words and sentences of Old Tagalog are the roots of the modern Tagalog language. Some of the words and sentences have evolved over time like the word babai or pig, which became baboy in modern Tagalog, but some of the words in Old Tagalog like booty conscience and hari or king, have survived and are in common use in modern Tagalog. Baybayan writing makes use of only one punctuation mark, the Philippine double punctuation. Topic. Example sentences. Yamang D Nagkaka Unawan, I Mag Paka Hinahan. They that have a misunderstanding should stay calm. Magtenum I D Biro. Planting is not a joke. Mamahalan Kita Hongong Sa Pumuti Ang Buhak Ko. I will love you until my hair turns white. Topic. Collation Topic. In the Doctrina Christiana, the letters of Bebeyan were collated as A O U E I H P K S L T N B M G D R Y N W. In Unicode, the letters are collated as A I U Ka Ga Na Ta Da Na Pa Ba Ma Ya La Wa Sa Ha. Topic. Examples Topic. Topic. The Lord's Prayer Ama Naaman. Topic. Topic. Universal Declaration of Human Rights Topic. Topic. Motto of the Philippines Topic. 
Topic Unicode. Topic Bebeyan was added to the Unicode standard in March 2002 with the release of version 3.2. Topic Block. The Unicode block for Bebeyan, called Tagalog, is U plus 1700 U plus 171F. Topic. Representation of the character Ra. Topic. Although it violates the Unicode standard, U plus 170D is becoming the de facto standard for representing the character Ra due to its use as such in commonly available Bebeyan fonts. Topic. Philippines Unicode keyboard layout with Bebeyan Topic. It is possible to type Bebeyan directly from the keyboard without the need to use online typepads. The Philippines Unicode keyboard layout includes different sets of Bebeyan layout for different keyboard users, QWERTY, Capewell Dvorak, Capewell QWERF 2006, Colmac, and Dvorak, all available in Microsoft Windows and GNU, Linux 32-bit and 64-bit installations. The keyboard layout with Bebeyan can be downloaded at this page. Topic. See also. Topic. Suyat List of India-related topics in Philippines Old Tagalog Laguna Copperplate Inscription Kulatan Alphabet Hainanoa Script Tagbanwa Alphabet Buid Script Kawi Script Filipino Orthography History of Indian Influence on Southeast Asia India-Philippines Relations Rajanate of Butuan Topic. References Topic. Scott, William Henry Pre-Hispanic Source Materials for the Study of Philippine History. New Day Publishers. ISBN 971-10-0226-4 External links House Bill 160, a.k.a. National Script Act of 2011 Ang Baybayan by Paul Morrow Unicode Tagalog Range 1700-171F in PDF Yet another Baybayan chart Baybayan Online Translator Baybayan Video Tutorial Baybayan Unicode Keyboard Layout for Mac OS X Snowworld's Baybayan Unicode Typepad Philippines Unicode Keyboard Layout with Bebeyan, for Microsoft Windows and GNU, Linux both 32-bit and 64-bit Bebeyan Keyboard Extension for Chromios Chromebooks. Online Bebeyan Library Bebeyan Mobile Translator Application Nordinx's Bebeyan Unicode Typepad Sinounding Bebeyan Topic. Font downloads Topic. Badlet script Bebeyan modern fonts Christian Cabuy's Bebeyan brush font Paul Morrow's Bebeyan fonts Tagalog – Unicode character table Topic. Video tutorials Topic. 1 2